What's going on everybody? My name is Northy and today I've got myself my first box of hobby packs. I'm so excited. I'm so keen to get into these ones because everything I've heard from hobby has been nothing but good so far. Obviously, we have already opened up a box of footy stars. So a hobby has finally arrived on my doorstep. I'm ready. I'm so keen to get into this box. It's obviously very similar in ways to Jumbo from last year. It is like the exclusive or the level up, I assume, is what you try and call it. However, Hobby is different in its own unique way. So Hobby packs are going to be the same 18 card, 18 pack layout for every box, but Hobby packs do not have any specific exclusives or like parallels or different types of cards compared to um, the regular Footy Stars set. Hobby pack has everything that Footy Stars regular has, but it includes the things such as Spectrum. All the predictors are Platinum instead. And not only that, it comes with its own exclusive cards such as the Carbon Insert. So that's going to be really, really nice to see. So five potential big hits that are coming up in this box. Uh, obviously, I want to see some really, really big things here, but we can only get what we are given and I'm hoping for something really, really nice. Fingers crossed that things go well for us today, but Hobby Footy Stars 2023, let's get straight into this one. I don't know where my scissors went, so I'm going to have to try and put my fingers into it, but we'll see how this goes. Never mind, it took me literally no time at all, and now I am here with the scissors. <laughs> okay, let's get into this box of Hobby 2023 Footy Stars, something that I've been super excited for ever since I saw the release of it, just from the details of the Hobby packs to uh, the cards we could potentially see from it. Uh, Hobby obviously released uh, in a limited quantity, only 8,700 boxes of these ones made. Cards are numbered to 60 for those big hits, so really exciting if you manage to pull something big. Uh, I know I got myself a fair few hobby boxes, so the fact that I'm here opening one right now is super duper exciting. But there's something about having these cards here in my uh, house right now, and the packs. I love the packs so much. They're thick, they're exciting. Oh man, I'm so, so keen to get into it. Uh, it may not be as long as the video as yesterday with the 25 minutes, but this Footy Stars Hobby Pack is the start of hopefully something really, really nice here today. So two inserts per pack is what we are used to so far. Um, I'm not sure how that'll go, but if you can read that, I'll go through it though. The common parallels, there are one in every pack. Uh, mascots are every three. Essentials every three. Milestones every four. Carbon is the uh, Footy uh, Stars Hobby exclusive. Uh, they are one per nine. Then we've got Classifieds in there, which are one per 18. Numbers are one per 18 as well. Spectrum Redemptions are one in every two boxes, so that's really interesting. Then we've got the Predictors, so the Brandlow's one in every 72 packs. Uh, the Coleman, Premiership, and Rising Stars are one in every 144 packs. Uh, then we've got the Iconics, which are every 216. And the Instant Wins, which are at one in every 648. So Instant Wins, definitely the hardest to pull here. But you can see, there's a lot you can get throughout this. And obviously, them being Platinum, those predictors, makes this pack super exciting. But the good thing about Hobby is that the likelihood of pulling something big in your packs is so much bigger than it was compared comparing it to Jumbo of last year. So if you do purchase yourself a pack of Hobby, know that there's a better chance of you getting something big. So let's see what we can do here with Footy Stars Hobby. We're starting off with Bianca Jacobson, David Swallow, Karen Peterson, Tom Green. I'm interested to see how far it'll take for us to find these inserts, but Taylor Harris in there as well. Here we go, it's looking like we're starting off with an Essentials card, Isaac Heaney. And then behind that one is the one in every pack, Shea Bolton. Silver Common Parallels Color Spot. Really nice to see. Um, I'm not going to go too far into the comments here. There are going to be a lot of comments, obviously, as every box of Footy Stars will have, whether it's hobby or normal, but we're obviously more interested in the big insert pulls. And uh, knowing that we get... Uh, two in every pack. There is no exceptions this year. I've even seen people with three per pack. Uh, we could see some really, really big pulls here today. So I'm keen to see where our luck takes us today. Uh, hopefully somewhere nice. An Iconic would be super sick to pull in this one. Or even an exclusive Spectrum Redemption. We'll just have to wait and see. But we got Sebastian Ross to start this one off. Sorry, I had to change up a few settings here. But we've got Sebastian Ross to start. We've got ourselves a Jared Witz. A Sammy Walsh. Isaac Cumming, where is our inserts? Jake Lever, 
And it's looking like a mascots, Ebony Marinoff mascots for AFL Women's and the colour spots itself, Ben King. It'll be nice to see him return to the AFL this year, uh, hopefully with a good season, but nothing too crazy just yet to start. We're still waiting for Hobby to kind of, you know, get started, get into the swing of things, but you can see there the two insets per pack. Sometimes it's not always worth it, but at the same time, I'm very keen to see if uh, Hobby is worth it more often than the regular footy stars, because obviously there's only the three big hits for regular footy stars, so we're hoping to see something really nice in these ones uh, to make up for the less packs, but Darcy Moore and the higher price per pack. Brad Crouch, Ben King, Adam Saad, Toby Green, I see something nice here. It's a Tom McDonald gold milestones card. I've not gotten gold milestones card just yet. That looks really nice. I like the gold look on it. And the Dan Houston color spots. So no crazy inserts just yet. We're still just teasing. We're still getting into the swing of things. Oh man, I'd love to see myself. I want to see what the carbons look like in person. I'm keen to see what a carbon card looks like. But uh, nonetheless, I'm hopeful that we have some big things on the way. We've got Jamie Lambert to start here. Jay Gresham. Uh, Ali Drennan. Mimi Hill. Elise Parker. And it's another mascots card. It's Caitlin Ashmore. A lot of AFLW mascots I've been getting so far, but nothing wrong with that. It's good to see a lot of these mascot cards. And a Josh Dacos color spots card. I'm just really hoping for some good numbers this year. I, I think this year, my hope is that I just pull a really nice number somewhere. Um, I think I'm looking for 001, because last year I did, definitely got some jumper numbers. But 001, something hits different with a 001. There's something nice with a 001 card, but I am yet to pull something like that. So, uh, at least last year and yet this year to do so. We got Bailey Fritch though, uh, Jamie Elliott, Bradley Hill, Sam Collins, Harry Mackay, and it looks like an essential, still another just regular insert, but these essential cards are still very nice looking. And then Anne Hatchard, AFLW color spot card. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely keen on collecting the, the essential set. That'd be really, really nice to get, but we'll see how that goes. It'll take some time, but we'll get there eventually. Next pack. I'm starting to slowly get used to opening the packs again. Slowly but surely, we're getting used to it. It is uh, a bit of a drag, but yeah, if you guys uh, saw how the, uh, what you call it, the case break went, that was a lot of packs. A lot of packs. I'm currently recording this before the live stream, but I already can tell you my hands are probably hurting. We've got Tyler Hanks here, Jordan Goey, and a Priest, Charlie Rowbottom, Patty Cripps, and it's another milestone. It's Oliver Florent for the Sydney Swans. Nice. And an Emily Bates Silver Spot Common Parallel. Wow, we have gone a fair few, fair few packs into the box without getting ourselves a big hit yet. So they're all waiting at the bottom of this box. Oh, I'm excited now though. It definitely builds a hype. It, it just means that all those boring packs, we get through them to start. We build, we build the hype, we build the excitement, and then bang, instant win. You win $10,000, something like that. I don't know, who knows, but I'm keen as to see what we can do. We've got Steven Cornelio here though. And we've got a Steven May. Got a Josh Dacos, a Tim Membry, a Jack Lacocious, and we have ourselves. This is. Oh, I think I know what this is, and I'm so keen to see what this card looks like. Oh, man. In person, like, sorry, in video and watching other people open it, it looks so dope, but I really need to see this in person. I've just noticed my PlayStation fan going absolutely crazy, so I just had to quickly turn that one off, but. Jack Lacocious in front of what I believe is this card. What name have we got? Oh, baby, that says Bolton. And we only, we know who that means. Shay Bolton. Oh, the carbon. Oh, my God. The carbon card is beautiful. Oh, that cat eye refractor board is so much better on this than it was on Fractured. This card looks absolutely dope. Oh, man. The background look like it pops so much more. The border around it. Oh my god, this is such a good card. This is so much better. We've got a Maxi. Oh, this is a beautiful looking mascots card. Max Gorn as well. And the Brad Crouch Common Parallel. Oh my goodness. That was a really good pack. That mascots Maxi Gorn is really nice actually. I love the shine of it. But I'm super keen to see what number this Shea Bolton is. 29 is the number we're looking for. Or 001. 001 as always. What have we got for Shea? It is number... Hey, 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 let's go, baby. 
If you know, you know. Come on. <laughs> that's so stupid. <laughs> of course. Yeah, that makes sense for me. But that's our first big hit of Footy Stars Hobby, and I'm pretty happy with it. Shea Bolton, a really, really nice card to pull. Next pack, though, there's still so much to get, so much to look forward to here. I'm so keen to see what else we can pull. That carbon card is so beautiful, man. Definitely better than the uh, blank canvas from last year. And although that was good, that looks stunning. That is a stunning card. All right, so next pack. Finally, my PlayStation has had enough of being annoying. We've got Alicia Eva to start this one. We've got Daisy Pierce, Brianna Davey. Georgia Patricios, a lot more AFL women's cards, I've just noticed. That's five in a row to start off the pack, which is kind of cool. Jamie Stanton, though, and is this back-to-back? Back-to-back carbons. I'm not complaining, that's pretty cool. Let's go, though, next one. What name have we got for this? We've got ourselves... King. I'm seeing blue as well. This looks like a... it's either a Max or a Ben. It's a Max King, okay. I saw the socks, I'm like, this looks like it could be Gold Coast. Gold Coast have the hint of blue sometimes. But no, it's Maxi King. Interesting. Wow, some two, so two pretty decent players for Carbon. That's a really, really nice, like, duo. I'm taking that every day of the week. But we got Brayden Maynard Essential and the Lukey McDonald Silver Spots. Yes, baby, North Melbourne inserts. We're always keen with that. But back to back with the hits and these Carbon cards, I can't get enough of them in person. They are elite. These are a huge hit for me. But Ben King, what number have we got for you? Number 78. Still some pretty decent cards that I'm 100% taking. 100%. That is absolutely beautiful. I love them. They're great. I will try and collect as many as I possibly can. They're beautiful. Next pack though, and uh, let's see what else we can try and find in here. We've got Sam Doherty. We've got Sam Taylor. Cozzy Pickett. Taylor Adams. Jimmy Webster. Matt Rowe, and this looks like a essential. It's Jai Newcomb. I think this is my first double. I'm pretty sure I got Newcomb in the regular pack, but Jeremy Cameron in there as well. Pretty sure I got an essential Jai Newcomb, so up for trade, boys. <laughs> the trade market's already going off. Oh, I'm so keen to see what else we can pull in here, though. Obviously, we do have the classifieds that we can still pull. We've got the, uh, what you call it? How am I forgetting the other box here? That's stupid. Numbers. How could I forget numbers? Numbers is beautiful. Uh, but we've got that one still to look out for. And our big hit for the hobby pack. I'm so keen. I'm so, so keen. Darcy Vessio. Be Beck Beeson. Andrew. Oh, sorry. Angus Brayshaw. Nick Dacos. Rowan Marshall. And Rowan Marshall. <laughs> Rowan Marshall mascots behind a Rowan Marshall regular card. And see, this is what I'm talking about, though. This looks so much better one than Starburst. Um, because, like, just the card, although it has that nice, like, creative flair to it, it looks like a genuinely good card, not a lazy effort. It looks genuinely good. And then the Buddy Franklin common parallel behind it. Nice pack. Nice pack. That's a pretty good pack. I'll take that. But next one. Come on. Be good to me. We want to see something nice. Something good. I want to see a Platinum Predictor. Because if I get a Spectrum Redemption and it's not for the team I want, then it's kind of an L. It's kind of an L. Spectrum Redemptions I'm still not too keen on unless something crazy happens. This looks like a big hit. This looks like a hit. We got ourselves Noah Anderson to start. Matthew Kennedy, Nick Haynes, Clayton Oliver, Jack Crisp. It sure is. For the Adelaide Cruiser, Ben Keys. Brownlow Predictor. Okay. Ben Keys, is it his year for a breakout? Who knows? But a Jack Siebel milestone behind it. Yes. Oh, what a pack. This is good. And the Hayley Miller silver uh, common parallel behind it. But nice. Another Brownlow Predictor in our box break. But that is a nice looking platinum Brownlow Predictor of Ben Keys. But yes, you can see the uh, difference between Hobby and and uh, the regular footy stars is that these are the platinum ones while the uh, regular footy stars have the gold ones as we got the Matt Rowell in the last video. But Ben Key's looking really nice. What number have we got for him? Number 54, the Northy Special because that just makes sense for this channel. <laughs> the Brownlow Predictor though, looking very, very nice. Um, yeah, I would have preferred it to be 
uh, a North player or a player who would have maybe had a better chance at the brown light. Unless Ben Keith comes out and has an absolutely incredible year. I don't know if that card's going to be too popular. <laughs> we'll see. But we've got Cogs here to start. Uh, Stephen May. Josh Dacos. Tim Membry. Jack Lacocious. And Todd Goldstein. Yes. Mascots. Beautiful. I love the look of that. And the Stephen May common parallel. Fair enough. Two back-to-back -back packs with North Melbourne inserts. Taking that every day of the week, boys. That is 100% all me. I am taking that all day. Every day. No day I'm not taking that. So, add that to the collection. Hopefully, Mascot isn't too difficult to uh, collect in total. But we'll just have to wait and see. We've got Jack Steele to start this one, though. Took Miller. Adam Chera. Callan Ward. Christian Salem. Steel side bottom, and it's a Noah Anderson essential. Lovely. Still really like the look of these essential cards. They look almost too similar to the Virtuosos of last year, that every time I see it, I'm like, oh, this looks like it could be really good. No, it's just a regular insert, and it's still a good looking card, don't get me wrong. But we got James Sicily come parallel as well. Nice, nice. I like the fact that there's always two. Maybe not the fact that the common parallel is so common. I'd like, I'd like it if they had like switched it up every pack, but... It is what it is. You can't really get too angry at it, considering that you always get another insert in each pack. Uh, but nonetheless, we would have liked something else. We would have liked something else for sure. I'm just happy that um, Footy Stars' uh, hobby looks so good. And this looks like a box hit. This looks like a big old box hit, boys. We've got Jacob Weedering, Josh Kelly, Jack Viney, Braden Maynard, Jack Sinclair. And it sure is. Who's it going to be? It's a Chase Jones, Adelaide Crows, number one. Please be number one, and... Oh, okay, and the classifier. Okay, so it looks like this is what happens every time. So the two box hits in a pack will always... Oh, sorry, in the box will always be in the same pack because I've seen this before. This happened in the original uh, video that I uploaded regarding Footy Stars Hobby uh, with RGV Collectibles. Their pack had both the classified card and the numbers card in the same pack. So I guess that's a risk you kind of take with these packs is that uh, the chances of you pulling the box hits are decreased highly because of the fact that they come in the same pack. But if you do hit it, you get both of them. So Chase Jones, what number are you? Number 63, I'm unfortunately not number one, would have liked that to be, but it's Chase Jones, I'm not too stressed. And then our Jared Witz, you can see the number at the front there. It's kind of hard to do a slow reveal for these classified cards, but they're still very good looking. 277 of 365, I would love to see a 001 of uh, this classified at some point, because they look stunning, man. They look really, really good. But this Jared Witz, 277 of 365, I will definitely take it. Classified, looking like a beautiful set. But how many packs do we have left? It looks like four in total. So we're not going to get too much more. I don't think we can get anything more now, unfortunately. But that is the way that Footy Stars has always kind of gone. You get your hits. You know how many hits you're going to pull in a box. And then it kind of finishes up there. But we're going to go through. It is Dyson Heppel. That's a nice little milestone card. And Jacob Weider in common parallel in the middle of that pack. Let's speed it up a little bit, though. As we've already pulled... All of our big cards now. We know what's coming. It's just a bunch of inserts uh, that we already already know. But you can see there, the five cards. Uh, that is a really, really good haul. I think it's really nice. I love the fact that um, the predictors are platinum. So uh, the increased value of each card, uh, mainly each card. Obviously, if you're not pulling a person who is predicted to win this in, during the year, then it maybe is a bit depressing. But it doesn't matter too much. Our next pack is a Dyson. Oh, sorry. I was going to say Dyson Heppel. Speaking of Essendon, but no, it is Zach Merritt for the Essendon Bombers and the Bailey Dale Common Parallel. Lovely stuff to see, but I'm super happy with the fact that there's five hits in here. Um, the odds, obviously, they look easier, but I'm telling you now they are just as tough as regular footy stars. So if you think you're going to get better odds um, of pulling those big ones because you bought Hobby, you're unfortunately wrong. But nonetheless, the cards look sick. I definitely think the carbon, the carbons are so nice as an exclusive. The fact you get two of them guaranteed every box, amazing. Really happy with that. But next pack, got ourselves Angus Brayshaw Essentials. Beautiful stuff. And then the Tom Green common parallel there as well. One more pack remaining. I'll tell you what, even though we didn't get anything too out of this world, I am happy. I'm happy with this pull. I'm happy with this box. 
Uh, and it'll probably be the case with every single hobby pack because, like, hobby packs just look like a really exciting set uh, to pull. They just look like a really, really well-designed set. But let's go through this one. Final pack is going to be a Brayden Maynard Milestone card with a Zach Merritt Common Parallel behind it. Nice indeed. Really, really happy stuff there. Um, but yeah, like I said, the five, the five amazing hits here. Um, we got the Shea Bolton, uh, the Carbon Shea Bolton, really, really nice, numbered 69 of 195. And then the Max King. I want to collect as many of these. The Max King, 78 of 195. These are sick, dude. These are really, really nice. And then we go to the Brownlow Predictor. Really nice. This is one per 72. Uh, so one in every four boxes. And Ben Keys is our uh, Brownlow Predictor for this one. So not bad at all. We will take it. Northy Special, 50 of six, 54 of 60. Then we go to one of my favorite. I think if it wasn't for Carbon, this would be my favorite. Carbon has very much overtaken uh, every single other card. But this Jared Witts looking super nice. The acetate look, the, just the design of the card. It's so unique. I feel like that it just catches my eye every time. Especially considering last year, it did have some co like cool things about it. But this, this is a whole new level. This is very, very nice. And then our numbers, Chase Jones. It is no Christian Petraka that we had in our regular box, numbered to six. But Chase Jones, numbered to 63. It's a good looking card nonetheless. And it's number one of the entire number set. So there you go. There's a positive for it. So not bad at all. Uh, Footy Stars Hobby Packs are uh, very, very nice as a first little look at it. I've got plenty more where that came from. But nonetheless, I'm super happy with our haul. Hobby boxes coming in at $140. Um, for some people, that may be worth it. For some people, not. I think the fact that you get a chance at platinum predictors uh, is in itself a really, really good thing. The exclusive carbons, the fact they're guaranteed, definitely, definitely happy about that. And the fact that um, Spectre Redemptions are coming back through these hobby packs. Um, they're not anything crazy still to me, but... At the same time, I am definitely keen on seeing what else I can do with these hobby boxes. So, nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Um, if you haven't already seen the case break, go ahead and go and check that out. Uh, loads of awesome cards. I don't know what they are just yet at the time of recording this, but I can guarantee you now they are amazing. Nonetheless, this was Footy Stars Hobby. I'm really happy that this box uh, is in the regulation now because it opens up our slot for prestige. What will we see next? I'm super keen. Nonetheless, thank you all so much for watching this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.